Today we are going to create a sketchy title in Motion for Final Cut Pro. First thing is first, open up Motion. If you do not get the project browser, you can go up to File, New from Project Browser. Select the Final Cut title and push Open. After that, push Shift Z and that will enable us to see everything in the browser and we are going to delete the title background and the type text here. We delete the title background because that's going to affect whatever video is underneath in Final Cut Pro. After that, let's add in our own text and I'm just going to type in sketchy and I really don't like this font but that's okay um, we are going to change this to I typically like babish new so we'll drag up the size here we'll do something like 600 and then we can center it and then go into our properties and reset parameters so that's right in the middle motion has a couple different options for making your text look sketchy and these are the two ways I like to do it there are other options as well but what we're gonna do is select our sketch text we're gonna go up to behaviors and there is these text animations we're gonna go into the continuous panel here and then we're gonna go down and we have quiver and we have sketchy and I will show you the difference between both I typically like to use quiver more you can see the text is slightly juttery here to make this a little bit more apparent we can go over to the apply mode and we can do add and subtract and I'll show you what that's doing if I push command a I can see my keyframes so when it's just add you can can see the shakiness is just happening above this line which is zero here if I set it to add and subtract you can see that it's going above and below the line so it's giving it a much broader range okay so we've got this slight movement to our text but it's definitely not looking very sketchy it just looks like it's kind of shaky and quivery so to make this look sketchy what we're gonna do is apply the strobe effect so if you go up to filters go down to time and select strobe you can see over here we have strobe rate and that's essentially the frame rate of playback on that text so if I play it now you can see it's a little bit choppier as if it was hand-drawn frame by frame so we can set this to 10 frames per second and we'll really see the effect happening this definitely looks much more like sketchy handwritten text so what I'm gonna do now is show you the sketchy effect and what that does to the text so if we disable the strobe effect so that everything is smooth again we will go ahead and disable the quiver, select our sketchy text, go up to behaviors, go to text continuous and select sketchy. So now you can see in the sketchy text, we have just this red outline. Now, if you wanna change the outline color, go to text and go to appearance, and then we will change this red color over to white. And even though it says the outline is disabled, it is in fact enabled. So now we can go back to our sketchy parameters here. We can change this apply mode back to add and subtract and we can play it back and you can see it's really starting to get shaky you can change the amount here of shakiness so if you really want to go crazy but we're gonna leave this down where it was at 11 and then after that if we want to enable the face we can go up here to the top go to face and drag up the opacity on face and so now we have the face there with the outline shaking around it so that can be a really cool effect as well but what's awesome is we can have both of these enabled the quiver and the sketchy so if we enable that as well and playback you can see very subtly that the text is shaking along with the outline. Now my computer is having a hard time to playing back on this while it's recording, but that's okay. So now if we really want that strobe effect, we can enable that to get things looking really nice and sketchy. So that wraps up the tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful to you. If you are a patron, make sure you go and download this title right now, and I will see you on Friday for a Final Cut Friday tutorial.